Hi, today I'm going to talk about what OS2 is and how it works. So imagine that you have a use case that when a user wants to allow this particular app to access, for example, your Google Photos, your Google Contacts that is located on the resource server from the Google. Right, so we're going to use the OS2 to achieve that. So OS2 is an authorization protocol, right? It's not an authentication protocol. So if you want to talk about the authentication, it's all about the open ID connect that is running on top of OS2. Uh, so I'm going to explain it in the next video. So over here, remember, OS2 is just an authorization protocol that is to delegate the app access to a certain resources on the website, for example, the Google, uh, the Facebook contacts, and etc. So the flow starts with when the user wants to access this app, right? And then we're going to send a URL request that contains the client ID and most importantly, the callback URL where the Google OO server is going to send the code to. And also you're going to define what content you're going to access, what resource you're going to access. Over here, we're going to access the context that is on the Google. And then you're going to log in right, using your own uh, Google username and password to get yourself verified. And then the Google OO server is going to send back the code to the particular URL that you define here. And now the app UI basically is a browser based. We're going to receive the code and it's going to send the code to the backend app server. Right? And then the app server is going to use this code to exchange for the most important access token, uh, usually in the format of JWT, which is the JSON web token. And then the Google OAuth server is going to send back right, uh, the real access token and also the refresh token. Right? So basically that is to uh, increase the security level of this particular access token to make sure that it expires in for example the 5 minutes, 10 minutes, etc. And then the app server is going to pass the access token to the app GUI and the app GUI is going to send uh, the URL together with uh, the access token to the resource server. And then the resource server is going to come back with the resources that is requested, for example, the Google Photo or Google Context, and the user is going to view it. So the entire process concludes how the OS2 works. So thank you very much. Please remember to subscribe and hit the like button. Thank you.